What's up guys, good to you today with a ranked game of Corky. So as you guys know, I really, I haven't been playing a lot of anything uh recently, aside from support. But I decided that I got tired of getting uh, my ass handed to me because of feeding teammates. And shit ADCs. You can look at a lot of my losses and see that a lot of times it was the ADC caused the issue. Um, and no, it's not me. When your Caitlyn goes 0 and 10, no, that's her fault. <laughs> um, so. Corky this game. Originally, I was, I was, I queued for top and mid because I wanted to just play GP. Uh, and I got mid, and I was like, ooh, didn't really want to play mid because the last, the last game I played mid, I fed my ass off. Uh, because I was trying to play, uh, Syndra mid, and that just didn't work. And I was like, okay, yeah, let's just stay away from mid. That's probably not a good idea to be, uh, trying to play that. So I got, I got mid, and I was like, okay, um, how about we play Corky? Or how about, how, like, I asked to switch, and the ADC, uh, let me get, I asked if anyone went mid, I would have played anything. ADC was like, oh, I'll play, I'll play that. And so I got ADC. So, first few things I want to point out that I already don't like about this game. Uh, Thresh has Ancient Coin. That's the wrong item. Thresh started with his Q. That's the wrong ability to start with. Thresh exhausted the support. That's the wrong person to exhaust. Um, there was a there was a few things I could have done better there, but um, like I ended up like click on the ground and instead of doing uh like the A the auto attack uh click thing, and so I so there was one point where I walked forward when I didn't want to and. Lucian got some free damage. It don't matter, because Corky is really good. Um, I actually wouldn't have gone Corky this game. Um, I do die. Um, but me and Thresh both die. So I'm just, I just kind of accept it. I knew it was a bad play on my part, but it's just kind of whatever. It gets better though. So. Don't worry. Uh, I'm still pissed off about Thresh because Thresh would have survived longer had he, you know, and this the whole thing would have been better had he just gotten the right abilities and the right items. But I wasn't actually going to play Corky this game. I originally was going to play Jinx, uh, but our mid laner had Zed hovered instead. So I was like, well, I gotta play Corky because we need the magic damage because the Moo Moo ain't gonna cut it. So, then they went Syndra, but I was like, fine, it's whatever. I'm a really, I, or at least, I feel like I'm a really good Corky, so I wasn't all that upset about it. However, they had a Morgana, so that Morgana spell shield is going to block some of the damage I deal, uh, which is uh, problematic. But, Lucian... Dashes forward when he really shouldn't have. I had heal still, and that allows me to get a kill on him. Uh, me and Thresh still ended up dying in that, but it's not it's not that bad. I have Sheen now, so things are going to get better. Um, for what I run on Corky, because I run slightly different things than what most people do. For Masteries, I go 18-12-0. I do not go 12-18-0. Um, I don't like Thunderlords on Corky. I understand that there's a lot of bursts of it, and um, because you're you're building AD, it actually works out pretty well. But I don't like it. I prefer to get fervor instead, and the reason why I prefer fervor is because I like auto attacking better. I like the sustained damage better in my fights. Also, I don't go uh, Hexa Gunblade on Corky. I know that's like the new thing for him. I don't go that. I don't like that because I've said this. I've I don't know if I've actually said it before, but um, if I haven't, I'll say it now. The previous Corky build I did just fine on, and I didn't have I I did I I was winning with that one where. You know, you went 
Triforce, and then you got, um, and then I would get Triforce, Sark Shoes, then you would get either, a lot of people would get Essence Dreamer, I would get Infinity Edge just because I was more, I cared more about my auto attacks. However, uh, this game I am going to go for Essence Dreamer because I want that cooldown reduction this game. And then after that, I would get a get yeah. rapid fire because you want that extra range on your auto attacks. It's really good on Corky. Then uh, bloodthirster voids, that type of thing. So I have my package. Whenever you have your package on Corky, that means it's time for you to run mid or kill somebody in kill somebody bot. And whenever Corky has his package, the enemy is supposed to back off. You're always supposed to back off. You're always supposed to play safe because Corky can come out of anywhere. Um, Lucian walks out to try to get rid of a, a pink cord and he gets a sass killed for it. No, even though, you know, I was just mid. Just mid! I'm probably going to be walking back down bot, so why would you... Why would you try to be fighting the Thresh at the bush, where I'm probably going to be there soon? So, pretty bad on the Lucians. Um, and as you now see, I went from 1 and 2 to 5 and 2, so, you know, from shit start to amazing start now, so I'm really happy with that. Um, I am out of mana though, so I do want to back, however... Thresh kind of gets his ass caught out here. Uh, fortunately, Amumu is down here, but he does flash all to help get this Morgana. But it's it's worth it. Um, this also allows us to go and get Fire Drake, which is really good. Um, however. Thresh had no health, and dies from the Oriana. Then Amumu had no way of like getting out at that point, and he died there as well. Uh, good news was that um, we did get to Dragon, so it's not like it was the end of the world. Bad news is, is now I've got three people bot lane, and they're trying to take the tower. And I have no mana, which is the... Reason why I didn't want to necessarily do dragon at the time, but I was just like, fine, if he really wants to do dragon, I guess we'll do it. But you know, who had just used his all, he had no flash, he had it was it was it was not a good time to be taking dragon. There's too many there's too many factors um make it not worthwhile. Um also to note Trundle or Topling Trundle is kicking the shit out of their scion. However, he's going Blade of the Rune King and has Fervor, so not too happy with that. Um, I am right now. I am just poking the enemy out uh, because that's one of the things Corky does best is just poke, poke, poke. Um, but I get package here, and it's very key because you know, like I said before, you gotta back off. Uh, when Corky has package, I'm not bot, so I'm probably coming mid with the package. You fucking idiot! I was just bot and just left there. You're up. You're like she's all the way up here, and yeah, that's um, that's a kill. That's a kill. There's no, there's no stopping that. One of the things that I'm not gonna like that our Mumu does this game. He gets Cinderhawk, which I'm happy about, but then he builds uh, Rylas and Leandres, which I'm like, eh. Like, I get that you want to be doing damage, man, but really? Um, kill the Morgana there, but everyone else is kind of in a shitty position. Lucian walks back up, and I just kill him. I do burn uh, heal for it, though, but I knew I could get him. It wasn't like it was that hard for me to do. I'm ahead. I had um, had a long sword on me. I had Triforce. He didn't even have Yomus. I knew I had it. But now I'm seven and two. 
Also, uh, we're gonna try to get Dragon here. Lucian wants- Lucian knows that we're taking it, but he can't do anything about it, because if he tries to, we'll kill him. So, pretty much- my- pretty much the whole strategy on Corky is, um... You know, farm, get your Triforce, and then you have a really good mid-game. Uh, whenever you get Package, look to- look to gank mid, pretty much. Um... And potentially, you know, get a kill bot. But Lucian also the wave there, which is really bad for me. Um, means I'm forced to back at this point. But however, I do just go and grab package uh, because it is up, so it's not like it's that bad. Lucian is trying to take care of this, but once again, nobody respects the package, and he just gets obliterated because I am so fed at this point. I have a long uh, BF sword. So, there's, there's no stopping me. Um, there's, there's literally nothing anyone can do at this point. I am running through my mana though, which is why I do want that, uh, Essence Reaver. I really, really want that mana. I want that, um, sustained fighting power. I want that extra cooldown reduction. I want everything that you get from that Essence Reaver. This game. So, uh, right here was really dumb of me. Uh, we didn't- I didn't have to die there. I could have easily had just backed off, but I really wanted that tower, and I got greedy for it. And I ended up dying for it, both me and Thresh. So, was it worth? No, not really, because I- we could have just backed off and then gotten it afterwards. So, yeah, not really worth. Could have played that a lot better. Um, you're gonna see me die a few more- you're gonna see me die a lot coming up here soon. Be because, well, when I say a lot, it just means more than my- more than what I've been dying this game. Because I wanna- I'm like trying to engage for our team, because nobody really wants to. And I have, you know, Corky Pact is a really good form of engage. That's about to be back up here soon. So once it gets up, you know, I'm gonna run and get it and try to, you know, do something with it. So, Oriana ults me here, and I'm trying to get away from everybody here, but eh, you can't really outrun the Lee Sin after a while. And I'm trying, I'm trying to outrun everyone here. I do end up surviving, but it's like, barely, um, as you can see, I... Almost died right there because I got hit by the Morgana cube. And she's building a Zonia, so she has some insane. So right here, one of the examples of where I'm gonna die. So they nope everyone's picking to back off and you know, is this worth it? Maybe. I could have not gotten the dragon there, but fortunately I knew that Lee Sin wasn't there. Uh but I went in I my thought was I could get a kill. Didn't quite happen. Um and then Thresh is just... I don't know what he's doing. He just kind of walked in and killed himself. And he doesn't have a lot of stats because he has a talisman. He has no health because all he has for health is a sight stone and he's building a ZZ rod or... DA by the looks of it, so... But yeah, going in and diving in for the dragon, you know, is kind of worth. But that was a really risky play that I shouldn't have done. I could have I, I could have gone around I could have gotten in a better angle maybe and then gotten a kill. Was like my, my plan was jump into a package, jump out. Um I had to burn flash there and heal. That was stupid of me to try doing anything. And yeah, I'm playing a lot riskier than what I should be at this point. But no, I, I don't really mind. Uh, right now I'm trying to find something to do, but there's really nowhere to- there's really nothing to do. Um, he's sitting way too mobile for us to get him. Uh, I currently, uh, I'm building towards, uh, rapid fire. So that way I can get that extra long auto attacks because honestly, rapid fire and Corky is so, so good. So good. 
It just adds that much more damage to your auto attacks. I don't know how the health rush survived there, but uh, beforehand when we killed Morgana, she walked up. That was just really bad on her, really dumb pathing uh, decision. So, uh, you see I'm doing zero damage to Scion, and that's because he has his easy rot, which giving him some MR, um, it doesn't, it's, you know, it's not like uh, Spirit Massage, but still it's something. Or I'm gonna get package here, so this is gonna be another suicide mission pretty much. Uh, but we do, I think it, I think it's a one for two, uh, right here, uh, so I see like, oh, hey, we can go in. Um, I do die, but uh, we kill the Lucian, we kill the Morgana, Lee Sin has no health now, that means we're getting a tower out of this too. So, two kills in the tower for my death, that's pretty worth. I'm dying still, so some would say that's bad on my part, but when you're Corky and you can engage like that, you might as well go and do it. Then, I don't know how we won that fight right there, but we did. That looked like a really bad fight that they just... But somehow, somehow we won it. I have no idea how. So, we get another Infernal Drake. Really nice. Really nice. Um... That is, I think that's the third Infernal. Check. Yeah, that's the third Infernal, so I'm getting uh, an extra 24% AD now. So, I'm doing a ton of damage now. Because when, you know, you're ahead and now you have this to make you even further ahead. You're, you're wrecking through everybody. You see me, you see me and Sindra just going through everyone. I die again. But, you know, I've just kind of accepted at this point, like, hey, I'm going to walk in, and we're going to, I might die, but we're going to get kills out of it. We end up getting an ace, too. So, uh, right now, this is one of those points in the game where we really should be looking for a, a, a Baron. We, if we get Baron, it's a go. Um... And I'm currently pushing out bot because I knew somebody had just pushed it, uh, had just pushed it onto us. So I wanted to make sure that wasn't going to be an issue. Uh, fight breaks out top, and I'm not there. And the Oriana actually does a ton of damage to me. And fortunately, she's not too fed, and she has a Leandri, so he doesn't have a lot of damage because of that. Why the fuck you have a Leandri on Oriana is beyond me, but. Whatever. That just means you're not killing me. So, we get Baron. Like I said, we needed Baron. A uh, free one if we get Baron. Always, it's like, you know, whenever you're ahead, just get Baron. It's such, it's so free. Oh. Yeah, uh, package in to get Oriana once again. Nobody respecting the package. The whole enemy team doesn't respect the package this entire game. However, I don't get the blue buff, which is uh, unfortunate, but I really wanted it. I think a movement might have spun the other way. But we get Elder, and Elder and Baron is GG. And yeah. So, Corky, still really good. Um, you see, I didn't go the Hexagumby build. I still wrecked the enemy team. I like that build. I understand. Uh, like if you go hexa gunblade you're pretty much you're you're delaying you're you're delaying your crit on quirky which is like and you're forced to get rid of essence tree or infinity edge or hexa gunblade because um like the the build that i had going this game you'll see triforce essence tree edge rapid fire and then sword boots with Doran's blade still uh, Doran's Blade would have been swapped out for Void Staff next, but that means I have no skill myself, which not really. Also, I would have had to swap out Essence Reaper Edge. Probably would have been Essence Reaper at this point. Don't really need the mana. You don't. Because I, I would have switched it out for a Bloodthirst game. Yeah, Hexagon would really just for 
And I don't like that. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to like and subscribe if you did. And see you all in the next one. Thanks.